What is holding up the parade? Well, not to save your business, waiting till John Randolph gets here. Well, he's got a lot of nerve, keeping all of us waiting for another reporter. Say, what is he, the star reporter? Well, if he is around here, his paper made for him at district attorney. His old man did that for him before he died. Say, even you could do it if it was dumped in your lap. Oh, well, his old man started the campaign, but give John credit. He finished it after his father was killed. I always did think it was a strange accident to kill old man Randolph. You don't suppose John could be having one of these strange accidents right now? I hope. Hello? No, he hasn't come in yet. Yes, Miss Barbara, I'll tell him. Oh, just a minute. He just came in the door. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, Hello. Mr. Randolph, there's a telephone call for you. Thanks, Molly. Hello. Oh, hello, Barbara. Yeah, I tried to get you 10 minutes ago. No, I won't forget. All right, we'll be there on time. You bet. Goodbye, dear. If you're on time for that date, it'll be the first time in your life. Mother always told me, never keep a lady waiting. Why don't you marry the girl? Don't be so crude. You're talking about the district attorney's daughter. Boys, I'll let you in on a little news. Tonight, at a private family dinner, the district attorney will announce the engagement of his daughter, Barbara, to Mr. John Randall, the rising young reporter who is so successfully operating the Star Tribune. Hey, Can you imagine? Hey, listen, Mom, why didn't you tip us off? Uh, hello, John. Hello. You know Lane, our chief investigator? Sure. How are you? He's been telling me a story that'll interest you. I'm picking up a fellow tonight, a man who's going to prove that your father's death was not an accident. Good. I've always thought that Dad knew something that would make it too hot for a lot of people in this town. Yes, and on the day of the accident, he said he was about ready to print a story blowing the lid off the underworld and uncover some leading citizen. I have a good chance tonight to find out who that is. I hope so. Say, John, we better not keep those reporters waiting any longer. Oh, no. Will you come along and help me face them the first time? Sure, huh? thanks. <laughs> Gentlemen. I want you to meet our new district attorney, Mr. Burnett. Hi, D.A. Yes, yes. How, How do you do, do? Mr. Burnett? Well, I remember some of these men. You're Hogan of the Hill, aren't you? Yes, Mr. Burnett. I worked with you on the Malcolm case last year. Yeah, that's right. I remember. I'm glad to see a man like you on the prosecutor's side of the fence. Yes, Wilkins here was one of the last to fall in line in supporting you. I waited to make sure he'd be elected. <laughs> Smart boy. <laughs> well, I want to thank all you fellows for your support during this campaign. It was my first attempt at running for public office, and I hope my last. That is, if I make a good enough job of it this time. And don't waste any time glorifying me, boys. Just back me up when you think I'm right. Hey, get a good picture of a man who can say a thing like that and mean it. That's news. Hey, you stay in that picture. That's oh. where you belong. Yeah, right with him where you've always been. That was a amazing dinner, Barbara. Yes, it was. Thank you. John, I think your mother would like a favorite chair. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. You know, the minute those newspapers announced our engagement, the telephone started ringing. Hmm. You have to expect that. Helen McGregor's arranging a party for us this evening at her house. She's inviting all our friends. And then Friday evening, they're giving us an engagement party at the country club. And I'm warning you, I'm going to look pretty silly arriving alone. I know just how you feel, Barbara. My wedding guests were kept waiting while a special edition was run off. All about her tiger that escaped from the zoo. <laughs> I'm glad Barbara realizes what she's up against, because Friday night, they're dedicating the new city hall. If I don't show up, they'll say I lack public spirit. You'll have to be there, too. They'll expect to see our new district attorney. It begins to look as though I'll have to engage a professional escort. Dolly, I have an idea. After we're married, you can furnish the press room as living quarters. That way, I can run in and see you. Between murders. That's killing. Well, have you and John decided where you're going to spend your honeymoon? I tried to discuss it with him, but he was always too busy campaigning for you. And now, I suppose, he'll be running this newspaper from your office. Well, that's not a very interesting place to spend a honeymoon. It might be if you live up to your campaign promises. I know of one person who would have been happy to spend the next year in that office of yours. Julia, you're right. If your husband could only have lived to be with us tonight, it was his ambition to see me district attorney. And tonight I'm proud that my son, whom he adopted as his own, has helped to carry out his wishes. I propose a toast to your husband. I loved him as a brother. To me, it's a sacred obligation to carry on his purpose to your husband. 
I'm sorry Mr. Burnett left strict orders that he was not to be disturbed tonight. Can I ask him to call you? Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. Yes, right away, sir. When is it Mason? Mr. Burnett is wanted on the telephone. Oh, but didn't you tell him that he couldn't be disturbed tonight? Yes, Miss Barbara, but uh, it's your office, sir, and they said it was very urgent. Excuse me a moment. This is Barnett. Oh, hello, Lane. What? Well, they must have found out you were meeting him. Do you know the fellow who did the shooting? But where have you got him? Get my hat and coat. All right, all right, I'll be right down. Uh, don't let anyone get to him. John, this ought to be news. The man that Lane was meeting tonight was killed. They've arrested a fellow called Draper. Uh, Mason, get my things, please. Don't wait up for me, dear. All right, Dad. Darling, it's important that I get down to the office right away. Thanks, Mason. Oh, I forgot. Will you drive Mother home? Well, you run along. We'll take care of ourselves. I always prepare for something like this. So I ordered my own car for 10 o'clock. <laughs> Good. Hello, Mac. District Attorney's men just grabbed Draper for murder. You're sure it's Draper? Yeah, I saw him grab him. Travel 8428. It's a bad time to have this happen. That new District Attorney's gonna eat this up. Hello, Sam. Sam. This is Mike. Did you hear where they hooked Draper for murder? Yeah, Joe, Joe Draper. Somebody better get a lawyer to him. That's not so good for us right now. Okay, I'll pass the word to Gil. Call Gil Blake, tell him to wait for me. I'm coming right over. Yeah, I know all about that. But we're raising cash for Draper. I'm down for 500 and it'll cost you the same. That's right, $500. We've got to get him the best lawyer in town, and that's Whitaker. Yeah, but this is going to cost money. We're trying to get Whitaker to defend him. I can't represent a cheap crook like Draper. Now, forget about it. I'm going back to show. Wait a minute, Whitaker. This is one case you'll have to take. Draper's important to us. We raised 10000 to pay you. Why does he mean that much to you? To stop that new district attorney before he gets started. And what other reason? Well, you remember the automobile accident that happened to old Randolph? What about it? Do you realize who Draper killed? Who cares? You're better. It was Henshaw. That's good riddance. Now somebody ought to get Draper. It's too late for that. He'll be safe in jail where he can squawk about us. We have to take care of him. So that's why you could collect 10000 in an hour. Yeah, and you ought to be paying part of it instead of getting it. All right. I'll get to work on it. City desk. This is Gordon. Oh, hello, Whitaker. What's on your mind? I'm taking on the Draper murder case. Yes, I have to. You'll find out. Now, here's what I want you to do. Use your newspaper to play up Draper as an innocent victim. Well, how can I do that? Young Randolph has taken it out of my hands. He's writing the murder story now, picturing the district attorney as a saint. That's exactly what I don't want. You get busy and kill that. This is the time when you have to do it. And I don't want you to give me any excuse. Well, I'll do all I can. But you know the circumstances. OK, goodbye. What's that, something new on the Draper murder case? No, just a fellow wants to have lunch with me tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Spread that front page, first edition tomorrow, and put District Attorney Burnett's picture right smack in the middle. John, 
You better drop this stuff off on the front page and stop hammering at it. Your district attorney has been elected, so forget it. And this new crime is like any other, just new to the day. Now, that's where you're wrong, Gordon. Henshaw was killed just before the district attorney was to question him. Now, that was no accident, any more than my father's death, just when he was ready to print something that they were afraid of. If your father had information like that, he would have told me. We worked together for years. It took him a lifetime to build up this newspaper. I don't want to see you tear it down in a week. No, Gordon, I'm not going to. But you're forgetting some of the training he gave you, and me, too. I know what he would have done, and that's what I'm going to do. You made a mistake. Take my advice and scrap this stuff, and treat Draper as a scapegoat. What else do you hope to get out of it? Here's what I hope to get. Henshaw was killed because he knew what my father knew. Now, Draper must know it, too. Now, if we can get Draper to face a death sentence, we might be able to get him to tell us what it is. Now, go ahead and print that. There isn't a lawyer in the world to save your hide. You not only shoot a man, but you're dumb enough to tell about it. And to the district attorney. They grabbed me and hustled me up to his office. What else could I do? Why'd you have to sign that thing? Somebody should have broken your arm so you couldn't write. I tell you, I couldn't get out of it. I didn't know I'd have a lawyer like you. Well, you don't have me now. I'm through. Please, Mr. Whitaker. Don't quit me now. I don't take cases I can't win. And with the Star Tribune making a little thin guard of the district attorney, you're sunk. If I can tell you something that'll shut that newspaper up. Will you stick with me? Don't be silly. What could you do? Shoot the editor or blow up the place? This is something you can do. And I'll tell you how. It better be good. Time out in two minutes, Mr. Whitaker. Okay. What is it? The Star Tribune is owned by Mrs. Julia Randolph and her son. No. Old Randolph, who was killed accidentally, was a second husband. What of it? She's supposed to have lost her first husband over 25 years ago. A fellow named Charlie Benton. What does that add up to? They never found out what happened to Benton. He was declared legally dead. I suppose you're going to tell me she killed him. No. He didn't even die. Just disappeared. If he showed up now, they wouldn't want to print that in their own paper. Where is he now? I've been known as Draper ever since. All right. If you're not lying, that is something to work on. I'll stay on your case. Thanks, Mr. Whitaker. And when I get out of here, I'll dig up plenty of dough for you. It's all been taken care of. Who paid it? None on that. There's only one bird could raise enough cash to pay you. That's Sam Gray. Hey, why should he do that for me? Because you can do something for him. No matter what happens, you keep your mouth shut about that accident that happened to old man Randolph. So that's why they sent you to me. Didn't want to save me, just trying to save themselves. What's the few on the other foot? You open your mouth and they're through with you. And if I do open my mouth, they'll be in here with me. And you, too. Okay, Whitaker. That's the deal. You'll get me out of this alive. Time's up. I'll do what I can. I tried to get here before you arrived. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Won't you sit down? I'm sorry I was so blunt over the telephone, but I knew you were the only person in the world that had any interest in Charlie Benton. I thought he was dead. No, he's very much alive. How do you know? And unless you and I do something about it, your own newspaper is going to be clamoring to have him hanged. But I can't do anything about that. My son runs a newspaper. And I couldn't ever let him know I was married to that man. My job is to save Draper's life. And I'm going to prove that he's not such a desperate character. You can testify to that. But that would destroy my son. All that scandal would tear down everything he'd planned. Now, let's get this straight, Mrs. Randolph. I'm not interested in your son. My job is to protect my client. What is it you want me to do? Your son used his Star Tribune to elect the district attorney. 
Now, Burnett must owe enough to you and to him to do anything you ask. But what can I do? Burnett has a confession signed by Joe Draper. I want you to get it and bring it to me. My mother. I'll bring you down here. I thought I'd like to ride home with you, so I dismissed my car. Good. I'm glad. You haven't been down here since I took over father's work. Seems so strange not seeing him here. It does to me, too. He'd have liked being here tonight. Look, tomorrow morning's headlines. Every criminal in town contributing to his defense fund because they're afraid that Burnett will get a conviction. John, is it so necessary that you must be the one to lead the pack in trying to hang this man? That's the newspaper's duty. Make the crooks realize that Burnett means business. Can't you do that without hanging him? Mother, you know that father would have welcomed this chance. You just can't seem to realize that some people are bad. Why, this man Draper has already admitted his guilt. And Burnett has a signed confession. Oh, come on, Mother. You can't read your own newspaper anymore. What you need is a good night's sleep. That I was married to this criminal. I know, but Draper's lawyer is bound to drag that out of the trial. I promise not to if I'd come to you. You... Oh, so... So that's his scheme. Yes. He said you had a signed confession, and he wants you to give it up. Julia? It's a good thing I have that for you and John, but I can't and won't make a deal with criminals. Of course you can't. I shouldn't have asked. I was waiting for your answer to answer him. I'd like to prosecute him for threatening you. Oh, but that wouldn't... It would only hurt you. Now you know, would you make you feel differently about Barbara Mary? How could I? Your mother. Why don't you tell your son and have him use his influence with Burnett? Mr. Whittaker, if you force me to do that, then there's no longer any reason for keeping it a secret. I think you've done enough to help our case by just talking to Burnett. And I'm quite sure now that I can convince the district attorney myself. Thank you. Send Clipper in here. I've got a quick job for you, Clipper. I want you to go up to Burnett's house, and in his safe you'll find a paper signed by Draper. It's that murder confession of his. And don't grab anything else. How much for me? Fifty. Five hundred. Fifty. Now and uh, fifty when you get back. Mason. Yes, sir. Have you been in all day? Why, yes, sir. What time did my daughter leave? I should say about five o'clock, sir. She left with Mrs. Randolph. How long was Mrs. Randolph here? Possibly an hour, sir. Oh, now that I recall it, Miss Barbara sent me on an errand for Mrs. Randolph. I should say I was gone about half an hour, sir. That'll be all, Mason. Yes, sir. Oh, well, Julia, does Barbara know anything about that little matter we talked about today? I'm glad you didn't mention it to her. 
Well, have you spoken about it to anyone? Naturally not. Except, of course, I went back to Mr. Whittaker's office. Whittaker. Now, Julia, I want you to think carefully. Did you say anything to him about where I keep that document? I don't know. I might have. He insisted I tell him everything you said. Is anything wrong? Yes, Julia. It's gone. And someone's signal is out of my safe. No, no. No, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I think I know where it is. Well, now, don't you worry about it. I left Whitaker in my office first thing in the morning. Yes. Well, good night, Julia. Why didn't you stay up there until you had a chance to get it? Not me. I hung around too long anyway. I was trying to get in after Barnett came home. Tell you what I'll do, Clipper. You get it tonight and there's 200 in it for you. I don't like getting caught in a district attorney's house. You better get somebody else to pull this job. I got too much to lose. I know a fellow could get that thing in two minutes. Sure. Joe Draper, but look where he landed. I'd get it myself if I was saving my own neck. There's no question who had that thing stolen from your safe. You'd better let me pick up Whitaker and get it out of him. If he ever had his hands on it, it's destroyed by this time. Yes, and with that gone, so are your chances to convict Draper. Yeah, Whitaker certainly blocked our case. Why, he's put me in the position of having to dicker with him. He's on his way here now. So, he's come control. Yeah, I'll have to make the best deal I can. Why, I'll be lucky if he lets Draper plead guilty to manslaughter. If he makes that offer, you better before he rings in a lot of fake witnesses and gets him off scot-free. Yeah? Mr. Whitaker is here. Show him in. Good luck. I rather expected this invitation from you. It's the way I always handled my cases with your predecessors. It's so much better than waiting till we meet in court. Never mind the stalling, Whittaker. You know I'd like nothing better than to put you in the same jail with Draper. But you wouldn't try it. It might cause a great deal of trouble for some pretty good friends of yours. If I'm not mistaken, Randolph is part owner of the newspaper that puts you in office. We'll keep her name out of this. Okay, that's agreeable with me. Now stop squirming and let's hear why you sent for me. Well, I... I want to talk to you about Draper's trial. I'm willing to listen. I'm considering the advisability of reducing the charge from first degree murder. Now you're coming to your senses. But what do you want me to do? On condition that I never mention that signed confession, I want you to make him plead guilty to manslaughter. Why not? Then I can take him out on bail. Oh, no, I wouldn't agree to that. No, he'd never show up for his trial. To make certain he's there, you must not take him out on bail. All right. It's the best you'd been able to get anyway, if he hadn't been fool enough to sign it. I think you have no backbone. It's not like you. Oh. Had to do this. With Whitaker against me and without that, you could get a murder conviction. This way, I'm certain of getting Draper for manslaughter. You know what they're going to say when this gets out? They're going to say that you made a deal with Whitaker. Why, you're ruining everything we worked for. You're making it very difficult, John. Oh, but you've got to give me some reason, some leg to so I can print it and try to justify what you're doing. I can't print a ridiculous excuse that you can't even keep a confession after you get it. Then I'm afraid I haven't got any other excuse. What I did was in the best interests of all. I want you to believe that and have faith in me. Faith? How can I? Well, you've given an invitation to every hoodlum in town to commit murder and get away with it. It certainly looks as if you sold out. If that's your interpretation, then I'm afraid it's the first time we've ever been on different sides of the fence. I'm afraid I can't do anything about that. You put yourself there. And if I can prove that you made this deal with Whitaker, I'll use the Star Tribune against you just as strongly as I used it for you. Well, did you get a denial? I just waste a lot of time while the other paper scooped us. Story's true, all right, but ours will be different. The matter, wouldn't he dance when you pull the strings? From now on, we're going to lead the parade in cracking down on Burnett. We're going to make public opinion force him our way. What about the stuff I wrote about him? Just what we want. Get it together and bring it in.
That deal will save your life. I suppose I'm to congratulate you. Manslaughter. Whoever said you were a lawyer? Yes, I made a mistake. I should have left it first degree murder. Then I'd have had the pleasure of seeing them stretch your neck. Yeah, but you won't. He'll see to that. And I don't get put away for 20 years. And don't forget you're hired to keep my mouth shut. Now get busy and get me out of here. You had any sense you'd see from that the DA is in enough trouble pulling that much for you. I'm not innocent in his trouble. I got my own. Take it easy, Joe. We'll handle it some way. This will give us a little more time to work. Yeah. That's all right for you birds on the outside, but I'm the guy sitting in jail. Now, what are you going to do about it? Keep your shirt on, Joe. Uh. Hello, Mason. Come on. Hello, Barbara. You must wonder why I'd send for you at this time of day. No, I think I know why. After what happened between your father and me, I... Well, I knew you'd have to see it his way. But what I can't understand is why you won't have more faith in him. Barbara, did he ask you to speak to me? No. But he did ask me not to let your quarrel with him interfere with our plans to get married. That makes it even harder for me to understand him. He doesn't seem to be himself at all. He's terribly worried. But I don't see why I should be worried over prosecuting this man. Unless he was threatened, the way my father was. You know he'd never run away from anything like that. Doesn't it seem strange that every prosecutor should fail when he's up against Whitaker? Wouldn't it be better if you'd try to help father? If you keep this up, he'll have to resign. I don't want to attack your father. It's the last thing I'd ever do. But he's forcing me to do it. He believes he's as right as you think you are. But how can he when he knows he's dealing with the very men who must have planned my father's death? Why, this is the very chance we were looking for, to convict a man like Draper. But he will send him to prison. Yes, but how? For manslaughter? The way your father's handling this case, he won't scare Draper into saying anything we'd want to find out. Oh, John. Go. You're making it impossible. I had hoped that we could reach an understanding. But I won't go on this way. Is Whitaker in? What do you want to see him about? He asked me to come over here. What's your name? John Randolph. Oh, yeah. Morning. I thought I was to meet Whitaker. Oh, he won't be here tonight. Sit down. I had a phone call asking me to come over. But not to see him. How do you know? Because I'm the one who called. I asked if you could come over to Whittaker's office. Who are you? I'm Clipper. Why didn't you come to my office? I don't dare be seen talking to you. It uh, wouldn't be so good for my health. What's on your mind? How much money you got on you? Why? I've got something you want to buy. Why me in particular? Because I figured I got four possible customers. One of them's Draper, but he's in jail and he's got no dough. The next is Whitaker, but he chisels. Then there's Burnett, the district attorney. But he'd know where I got it from. And uh, I figured you wouldn't want him to have it anyway. Why did you think I'd want it? Because you're battling him. And with this, you can set him right in his ear. Okay, Clipper, what is it? Draper's signed confession. Let's see it. It's in your right hand coat pocket. I thought there might be a cop trail in there, so I put it in a safe place. I've got about uh, $200 with me. I'll take it. Two ten. And uh, a check for a thousand. Is that all? That's all. Sold. How do you spell your name? C A S H. Hey, 
Hey, wait a minute. Half is no good. That's right. But I can't do anything with my half either. That's your protection. Now, if you don't stop payment on this check in the morning, I'll see that you get the other half of this. All right. Now, back behind you at the bank when you cash it. And I'll take the other half. And that little document shows we're right. Now, I want you to get out a special edition. Say that we have the confession in our hands and that it uncovers a plot between Whitaker and the district attorney. Wait a minute. You better lay off of Whitaker. When you tackle him, you're up against the shrewdest lawyer in town. I know. That's the ringleader for every crook around here. But you can't get Whitaker without ruining your friend the DA. We're demanding Burnett's resignation. And then we're going to use this little confession to force a first-degree murder charge against Draper. That's a pretty cute trick. Making a deal with me and then sidestepping it by passing the confession to Randolph. If I did that, do you think he'd be attacking me along with you? I thought all the time you had it stolen from my safe. If I thought you'd let it get away from you, I'd handle young Randolph myself. Oh, you're too late for that now. Mm. He's told the public he has a signed confession. Well, that takes the whip out of your hands. Oh, you're on your own, Whitaker. Okay. The deal's off. And while Draper's still charged with manslaughter, I'm taking him out on bail. No, he won't be out long. That confession will yank him right back. And this time on first-degree murder. And when that happens, I'm dragging Mrs. Randolph into the trial and letting Draper face her. All right, you try that. And when you fail to save Draper, perhaps he'll be only too glad to help me blow the lid off the underworld. And that might uncover you. You hope. I'm John Randolph of the Star Tribune. Is that so? What do you got against me, kid? Nothing personally. You just happen to be a member of the outfit I'm trying to put out of business. So that's why you and your paper are picking on the DA for letting me off easy with a manslaughter charge. Certainly. You killed Henshaw. That's first degree murder. You talk as though you knew all about it. I ought to. I'm the fellow who has your signed confession. Does Whitaker know this? He does if he can read. Then why isn't he down here? You might ask him, unless he's dropped you. Kid, you're chewing on a stick of dynamite. It might go off in your face. How do you suppose my attorney was able to make a deal? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. If you want to be smart, you'll go over and get the answer to that from your friend Burnett. And for your own good, you'll keep that confession where nobody will ever find it. I'm going to use that confession to see that you get what's coming to you, unless... You tell me why you killed Henshaw. To keep him from killing me. Say, why are you so interested in Henshaw? Because the night you shot Henshaw, he was going to tell who staged the murder of my father. I don't know anything about that. You must. A barrel of money's been collected just to save you. And if I knew anything like that, why would I tell you? Don't forget, I'm holding on to your confession. Are you trying to tell me that you'll make a deal? Might go easier with you. I've got things to tell that'll spin your head. If you think you can take it, just get Whitaker down here with you. Whitaker hasn't a chance in the world to save your neck. I have. So you better do business with me. What can you do for me? I might be able to save your life if you'll give me the evidence to convict the whole outfit. How do I know you can do that? Because that information would be worth it to everybody. Hey, what are you talking to him for? Did you see his paper today? What difference does that make? I just put a bail to get you out of here. Come on. Hey, get wise to yourself, kid. Shut up that newspaper of yours and keep your nose out of this case. We must stop John and his newspaper attack on your father. Oh, Dad won't think of that. He won't let you tell John that he's that criminal's son. But this man Whitaker knows I was married to Draper. He'll surely go after John and tell him. Oh, Father says it's too late for that because John's already announced he has Draper's confession. Even he can't take that back. But John is accusing your father of deliberately plotting to free a criminal. I want you to know that your father refused to do that, even for me. After the confession was stolen, he did the best he could without it. Yes, but nobody believes that now. And John would never trust giving it back to Dad unless we tell him everything. I'm not so sure he'd give it up, even if we told him. If only we could get it in some way. Where do you 
think he has it? In his office, I suppose. Oh, you can't think of anything like that. Well, why not? If anybody sees me, I'm just looking for John. But he'd have it locked in his safe. But there must be some way you could find out how it's opened. As a matter I have some private papers in it. Well, let's see what we can do about it. They are working on a new warrant for Draper. And this time it'll be first degree murder. Our job is to stop it before it gets half started. Draper's old record shows that he was hooked for safe cracking. And if he hasn't forgotten how it's done, it'll come in very handy tonight. Gordon's here to take you up to that newspaper office. And you're coming back with that confession that you signed. And if you don't get it, you better keep right on going. Better lock that. If anyone comes in, I've got you here on a news article. I'll watch outside. You'll find it on the third drawer of the safe on the left-hand side. Draper. Put that on the table. Say, I know you. I've seen pictures of you. Put your hands up or I'll shoot. You're Burnett's daughter. You wouldn't dare shoot me. I will if you don't give that to me. Then you know what it is. Yes. That's why you're here. Yes. So your old man can use it against me. Well, he's in too much trouble now for you to be handling a gun. Draper! If you go out that window, I will shoot. Miss Burnett. Barbara. I want you to reach into his right-hand coat pocket and get that paper for me. Stay where you are, Gordon. She wouldn't do any shooting. She knows I was married to Mrs. Randolph. That's why she wouldn't dare do anything. Now you can see why they didn't want anybody to know about me. Better let me take that gun, Miss Burnett. I'll handle him. I wouldn't trust you either. You're two of a kind. I heard you out there. 
And now, Mr. Gordon, are you going to get that paper for me? On one condition. That you never mention what went on here tonight. I can't tell that any more than you can. Just keep that gun on him. And shoot him if he makes a move. And now give it to me. I'll hang on to this, Miss Burnett, just to keep you quiet about me. Using that gun will only get your father into more trouble. And Draper, you can do anything you like about it. Just a minute, young lady. I heard gunshots. I don't know what that was. You come with me. I think I convinced those reporters that you wouldn't make any statement tonight. Well, did anybody find out that Draper's John's father? No. And I hope they don't. The person they're interested in right now is you. What did they say about me? Well, they said that you were at the safe to get the confession, to protect me, and that you shot Gordon when he tried to stop you. And that puts me in the position of having to prosecute my own daughter. Doesn't anybody believe me that Draper shot Gordon? No, and to make matters worse, they positively identified John's gun. I saw Draper take it out of John's safe. I know, dear, but I can't make them believe that Draper was with you. We'll have to find him to prove it. Well, his lawyer must know Draper was there. Oh, he probably sent him. I mean, if I could prove that, I'd have him up for murder, too. Oh, Dad, how am I ever going to explain all this to John? Oh, his mother's going to do that, dear. I had them meet in my office on the way down. Well, will you stay till they arrive? I won't leave you, dear. Barbara. He'll do anything you say. You explained why we're handling it this way? Or did you tell him how Barbara happened to be there? I told him everything. Can't we get Barbara out of here on bail? We decided not to in the face of public reaction. Would it do any good if I... if I told the Draper was my father? There's no reason for that. It won't help any. The most important thing to do is to prove that Draper was in your office. Do you think you can ever find him? We have to. Now, John. Somebody in their outfit must have given you that document. Would he help you? He would. I'd only find him. He'd do anything for money. His name's Clipper. Now that's our first important move to make. I've had a dozen guys out trying to put the finger on Draper. I can't find anyone who even has an idea where he might be. I wish somebody could prove to me he was dead. But he'll show up when he needs money. He'll take more chances. And if he's picked up this time, he'll blab everything. And you know John Randolph will move heaven and earth to get that Burnett girl out of jail. Mm. So you better make sure we get to Draper before he does. There's only one person I know could find him. That's Clipper. Yeah, but who's going to find Clipper? Take you so long. I stopped by for these. There's your newspaper. 
Boy, they dish out plenty of money to get their hands on you. Yeah? I'm not so sure you wouldn't sell me out for the right price. You can thank me for bringing you here. They'd have picked you up at that other place. Now, I got an idea how we can both get some cash. How? That newspaper guy will call for plenty to get you. I collect, then give him the runaround. What's the matter with Whitaker coming up here with the cash? Oh, no. I steered clear of him when I heard he had a gun out for you. He don't like you running loose. This time, he's making sure you don't blab. You're lying, Clipper. Okay. Take a chance if you want to. But you better let me collect for you. How do I know you'll come back? Because I need this place myself to lay low for a while. And I'm getting enough for both of us. Then when the time's ripe, we'll clear out of here together. You give me my share. I'll travel alone. All right, Draper. If that's the way you want it. And Clipper. Be sure you do come back. Hello. This is John Randolph speaking. This is Clipper. Yeah, I heard you were trying to find me. I know what you want, and I can deliver them. And no checks this time, all cash. I understand. I'm ready for you. I figured on that. How long will it take you to get here? Oh, nothing doing. This time you're coming to me. It'll cost you five grand and bring it with you. Come alone and drive your own car. All right, certainly. What? No. All right. Yes, I can drive it in half an hour. My clipper. I thought I was to meet you out at Strand and Wilson. Why, have you got some cops out there waiting for me? I've done business with you before, haven't I? All right. What's the matter with this place? Nothing. Okay, then. Shut up. I've got the money all right, but can you lay your hands on Draper? Why, certainly. I just left him. Are you going to waste time talking? There's an extra thousand in it if you'll take me to him. Oh, no. But I uh, want that extra thousand. I'm not going to be within sight of him when he finds out I told you. Okay. Now, how do I get there? Here's the directions to his front door. This is Franklin Boulevard. Yeah. You turn left at Benson Road. Mm -hmm. Follow the road to the bridge. Park your car and walk right up that lane. Yeah. Now here's his place. Don't take a gun or he might misunderstand. And go alone. Now that's your finish. Oh, here's a key so he'll know I sent you. And be there tonight at 9.15 on the dot. Darling, I have to leave now. I must be there right on time. It's way up beyond Benson Road, and it'll take me some time to drive it. You listen to me, Dad, with you. No, he'd have to notify the police. Then I'd never get Draper to admit he'd shot Gordon. I've got to do it by myself. And don't tell anybody where I've gone. Good night, darling. Good night. Good luck. Listen, Whittaker. I don't care what you say. Draper won't trust you any more than I will. I've got him where you can't find him. And it'll cost you money to keep his mouth shut. You and I'll make it worth plenty to you. And Draper will never bother either of us again. And then have you chisel on me? Oh, no. I've worked with you before. This time, I'm dealing for Draper. How much does he want? 5,000 in cash. You ever got your hands on 5,000, Draper would never see you. Or the cash. That's the chance you're taking. It'll be worth a lot more than that to the district attorney to find him. Wait a minute, Clipper. We'll settle this thing. You're not going to the district attorney. You're going to take me to Draper. Now, 
I opened the door. You are going to drive me straight to his place. What are you doing here? I want to talk to you. I came alone. Where'd you get that key? From Clipper. I paid him $6,000. Then he's not coming back. You knew he was selling me out. You're a part of it. All right. You're going to take his place. Get in that room. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came after. And after you hear what I have to say, I don't think you'll shoot me. What makes you so sure? I found out you're Charlie Benton, and that you were married to my mother. So you finally found out about that. Well, you're not telling me any news. No. I have something here to show you, if you'll let me reach in my pocket. Go ahead. This birth certificate says that I'm John Benton. That means you're my father. Christen John Charles Benton. She gave you my name. You were born after I left. I didn't know about that. So you're my son. No wonder you had nerve to come up here tonight. You. You're all right. You can't be very proud of your old man. I never gave you anything to live up to. Listen, kid. With Clipper running loose, we ain't got much time. We gotta get out of here. Now, what do you want me to do for you? I want you to help clear Barbara Burnett and get her out of jail. I can't do that. I gotta think of myself. That'll make it tougher for me. She can't mean that much to you. Oh, but she does. We're going to be married. You've got to help me. She knows you're my son? Yes. She'd marry you anyway? Yes. We got her father in a lot of trouble trying to help mother and me. Yeah, I fed that to Whitaker. Could have told her you down in the jail, but they didn't want me to. Now that I... <laughs> now that I know you're my son, I gotta get you out of this. Does Whitaker know I'm your father? No, we kept that away from him. Good. Don't ever let anybody know that. And there's a chance to shut up Whitaker. You got anything for me to write on? Yes. Any girl, knowing who I am and who'd marry my son, is going to get my help. She must be all right. I'll clear. At the same time, I'll give you enough to put Whitaker in a box where he can't touch anybody. I wrote it like Randolph was your father. Not me. Thanks. I wouldn't have asked you to do that. You didn't have to. I know what's good for you. I wrote all about Whitaker planning it. And that squares Barbara's father. That's what I'm counting on. I know you'll use this to put it all in one. How can I prove you wrote it? My thumbprint. There's a record of that on file that'll prove it's me. I'll go get my stuff together. You, you keep a look out at the window. Right.
Whitaker's coming. Anybody with him? Yeah, Clipper. Go in that room. Hey, Draper! Okay, Whitaker. Put that gun down. Kick it over here. If you came here to give me some dough, shell it out. I didn't bring any money. I thought not when I saw the gun. But you've got plenty. You sold me out for 6,000 bucks. I'll take it. John! So you collected from him, too. Here, take this. You'll need it against this guy, Whitaker. I'll leave him to you to handle. Get over there. Car you came in. You and I'll settle this thing ourselves. Good luck, boy. Give my regards to the young lady. And to your mother. I'll be watching your papers to see when they hang Whitaker. Take a look at the other one. Have him hold, Whittaker. How did you get here? Barbara told me. Here, hang on to that. It cooks his goose. Take him away. Clipper has a chance to live. We're taking him to the hospital right away. What's holding us up this time? Won't you ever teach this district attorney not to keep us waiting? Will we always have to wait for the smiling star reporter? You will, because this time he makes the news. He's expected here any minute now with something worthwhile waiting for. Uh... Hello? No, Mr. Renette. He hasn't come yet. Oh, here he is now. Hold everything, fellas. I think we're going to break some hot news. Hello, Mr. Okay. Go ahead, John. Tell them. Well, fellas, the district attorney wants me to announce that Whitaker has admitted his guilt and named the members of his outfit. Mr. Burnett will give you a written confirmation. Yes, and, and I believe my daughter has some news for you. I understand that reporters don't like to be kept waiting, but there was a special reason. On the way over from the jail, we stopped long enough to get married. What about a confirmation on that? It is. Oh, hold it for a picture. Mm -hmm. 